Okay, it's live. <sighs> Sorry, I'm a little bit late. Yeah, I'm like five minutes late. I uh, was having technical difficulties because my computer decides when it wants to let me use my webcam or not. <sighs> let me get situated. Hello, Stephanie. Uh, sorry that I'm late, everybody. Let me fix my chat. Hello, everybody. Hi, Diamond. I'm good. I haven't done much today. I think today's going to be like a really late work day because I haven't done anything today work-related at all. <laughs> like, so this piece of hair is going to piss me off. Um, hello, Melanie. You live in France. That is so crazy. Hello, everybody. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I have, uh, <laughs> hi, Olivia. <laughs> I'm having, I have three bags. I have a bag from Goodwill and then I have two bags from my local thrift store that I go to pretty much every Sunday. Um, I went to the Goodwill Saturday morning because, well, not Saturday morning. I met with a girl Saturday at 3 to do, like, a closet clean-out type of thing. So I have hella dresses from her back there. I, they're not in that bag. They're in a big Ikea bag. Um, but I have hella dresses from her. So I went to the Goodwill. That was, like, four minutes from her house. And, yeah, I found, like, a little bit of stuff. Nothing too crazy. It was definitely worth me stopping in there. So I'm going to show you guys that stuff first. I spent, I think $50 there and I had a 35%, no, I had a 30% off coupon. Yeah. Um, our Goodwill's in Akron at the beginning of the month, you get a 30% off coupon on your account. So that's always great. And then after that, every hundred dollars you spend, you get a 35% off coupon. But I will show you guys what I got from there. So I think this is my favorite item, if I can remember everything I got. And this is a swim top. It's a 4X. And it has this green, like, leaf print. And it's by Mod Cloth. And the tag says High Dive by Mod Cloth. I would not have known that this was a Mod Cloth brand if it did not say that. But I probably would have picked this up regardless just because it's a 4X and it's really cute. It has the, like, tie around the neck. And then it also has, like, regular um, straps. Because if you're a 4X, your boobs are probably really big and you're probably going to need a lot of support. So, yeah, really cute swim top. I also got this bathing suit. It's a 20, which is, like, a 1X. Um, I don't know if I would have bought this if it was another size. Probably not. But it's this Avenue bathing suit, and it's a black one-piece. It has this perforated design at the top. It's okay. Um, I think it would look a lot better on. Like, I think this would look really cute on me, but I don't think it, like, looks too cute by itself. Uh, but, yeah, one X bathing suit. I'll probably list this at, like, $20, $25. And that swim top, I don't know, because mod cloth can get pretty pricey. So I'm going to have to see. Um... Let me read some of these comments. And hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me again. Would you mind if we did a... Um, is ISO, is that in search of? I'm not exactly sure what that means. Can you please explain what the difference is between a shift and a sheath dress? I Googled it and my brain still doesn't understand. Maybe if you have examples in today's haul, point them out. Yeah, I can definitely show you. Shift dresses, I just think, like, when you think of a shift dress, just don't think of something that, like, clings to your body. It's more like like a pull-on. It's a, I mean, they're all pull-on dresses, obviously. But they're just, like, really loose and flowy. I'll have to show you an example because I'll end up talking myself in circles. This is a Zara Basic blazer. It is a medium. I've definitely slowed down picking up more, like, wintry blazers. But this was really cute. And, I mean, I didn't want to leave it there, so I bought it. I mean, fight me. It's... <laughs> It's just super cute. I don't know if these pockets are real or not. Yeah, they are real. I haven't been picking up as many blazers. There's definitely been a lot of, are there's, oh, there's extra buttons in the pocket too. Um, I've definitely been like leaving lots of blazers there. Anything with like wool I've been leaving, but this is just so cute. So 
I picked it up. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, if, like if you're like in search of like Lululemon specific leggings or something like that, yeah, go ahead. That does not bother me. You can put your in search of in the chat. This is a Bailey 44 dress. Sometimes you can find this brand at Anthropology, um, but they do sell it. Uh, I'm pretty sure they have like their own website uh, and they sell their stuff on Revolve. This is a size small and it's a cute little diagonal striped. Like this would be like a shift dress. It's just straight up and down. It's not form fitting. It's not body hugging. Um, this would be something that you can consider a shift dress. It sort of flares out at the bottom and those are like more like tent dresses or like, um, like swing dresses kind of, well, swing dresses are just more like, you know, you, when you think of a swing dress, I think of something I'm going to like twirl around in, but I'll probably just label this a shift dress, but that definitely retails for over a hundred. Their retail prices are ridiculous because their dresses really aren't even all that, but they retail for like 160, 170 crazy shit. Um, hello, Amber. I'm happy you could make it. Um, and hello, Sue. J. Crew wool blazers still sell sold to this weekend. Yeah. I mean, if I found a J. Crew wool blazer, I'd definitely pick it up, but I pick up a lot of like Sag Harbor blazers, even though I can flip them between 15 to 25 and, you know, buying them for 80 cents and flipping them for that much is fine with me. But I'm just like not picking up those anymore. If I find J. Crew anything, I'll probably pick it up if it's not like old as dirt. Um, do I ever thrift a Salvation Army? Our Salvation Army is like trash, like literal trash. They, my house is messy as hell. They freaking staple the price tags onto like the clothing items and it's no we're not doing that uh i just i hate our salvation army it's literal trash and then their prices are so high this is the next item it's a made well and i have not found made well in what feels like a really long time but it's a fit and flare dress it has this little pattern on it i don't even know what i'm gonna call that what size is this it's an extra small and Madewell does have date tags if you don't know and they also um Oh, I didn't even notice this. So the lining is, people kill me. Like who the fuck rips up a lining like this? So yeah, this is what the lining looks like. Um, And I would just cut the rest of the lining out, but the material's like semi sheer. So, you know, you don't want to see anybody's like butt through the dress. So I'm going to leave the lining, but I think I'm going to cut it like straight all the way around because like, look how jagged that is. So that'll clean it up a little bit. And then I'll just note it in the listing that the lining is messed up, but you know, your butt will still be covered. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I got that. And usually with Madewell, <laughs> I'll search up the style numbers in the store and look up comps and everything in the store because with brands like Madewell and like J. Crew and all of that, it's going to be really easy to find uh, comps online. So I usually look them up in the store, but I didn't for that. So hopefully that's not a dress that's like selling for super low in the first place. Um, hello, Ashley. And I'm happy you can make it, Brie and Amanda. Um, yeah, I cannot stand our Salvation Army. That's why I don't ever even go there. They do half off days on Wednesday, but it's just like, I don't like, uh, like your selection's not good. You're overpriced. You staple the tags on the clothes. I just, I just try to cut my losses short. Um, so this is a men's blazer and it was the half off color. So I figured why not? Um, when I go to the thrift store, I mainly source once a week for the most part on Sunday mornings and there is a dollar color and a half off color. So I really don't go to Goodwill's because I'm not really trying to spend like six, $7 a piece. So when I go to Goodwill's, I try to find more like half off stuff. Um, but this is a Michael Kors men's blazer. I would say retailed for over a hundred. They probably sold it at Macy's or something like that. And for men's blazers, a lot of the brands aren't going to be on the neckline. If you're into selling menswear or want to look at men's blazers, uh, the brand is going to be on this inside pocket. 
So it's Michael Kors. And I think this is like a 38R or something like that. Men's blazer sizes are weird. Uh, no, it's a 48L. So, um, yeah. Cute little men's blazer. We'll see how it does. I am lucky our Salvation Army is great. Sue, you are lucky because I honestly have no idea what's going on at ours. It is honestly like a godsend if I ever find something in there. This is just a little basic Simply Noel purse. It was cheap, so I figured why not. Bucket bag with, it's like a black faux leather with a brown and... Just a cute little summer purse, nothing too crazy. Whenever I buy purses, they usually sell quick, so. Um, what is this? Oh, this is Banana Republic size 10. I've got this because it was new at Tags. If it wasn't new at Tags, I don't think I would have purchased it. And it is like a burgundy color. It's single button. And these are more of like the blazers that I'm trying to pick up when I think of like spring and summer. This is just, you know, it's stretchy. It's not like a wool or something super thick, and it's, it's something you could wear all year round. I wouldn't say this is like a seasonal blazer, but just a cute little blazer. We all know what the Banana Republic tag looks like, size 10, and this retail, it doesn't have the retail price on it, but I would assume over 85 Uh, the purple one, I think I said size 10. My memory is so bad. <laughs> oh, I believe it's a size 10. Uh, this is St. John. And it's funny because the thrift store that I was at, first of all, their racks were like really crazy. Not like crazy, like overstuffed, but just like not lined up on the floor. The store was just, the layout was bad. The layout of the store was bad. Um, so they had the blazers and then the skirts were on the opposite side. And every time I go through blazers, I'm just thinking St. John, St. John, St. John, St. John. And I was just like looking at the blazers, turn around really quick, look at the skirts. And I was mainly looking for unique prints or standout colors or anything that maybe looked like it wasn't special, but could have been designer. Um, so I seen this pink glitter stretch knit skirt and I was like you know what that looks like it could be something and this was St. John so that's really cool it's St. John collection by Marie Gray which I believe is more like they're it's definitely not affordable but it's cheaper than like St. John I believe don't quote, quote me but this is a size 10 and it's just a little pink um yeah pencil skirt it has like silver thread throughout it I don't know how it's gonna do but I think for under five dollars I was willing to take the risk um definitely not I mean this isn't what I go for when I pick up skirts but you know people like their St. John so I figured I'd give it a shot yeah that's I was definitely trying to manifest St. John when I was in there because I feel like you could find a St. John piece and easily pay for your whole trip so that is all I got from Goodwill, except well, I have one last item. Um, this is a fossil belt. The Goodwill's belts are always like 148. So, I mean, I can get down with that. Fossil belt, genuine leather, size large. And I looked at this one because I seen this big buckle. And it's just a really nice, is that gold? Um... Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like brownish gold. I'll have to see it under my lights. But you guys can see that design, like, embellished in there. So, yeah, that is all I got from Goodwill. Now we have two more bags of stuff I got from the other thrift store. This is going to be a long one. If you want to, like, stop and go get food or go get a snack or if you don't care if you miss an item, that's also fine. I mean, I get it. I usually don't care. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to start going through the next two bags. It's a lot of shit. I really uh, have my work cut out for me this week, one could say. So when I went to the thrift store Saturday, they opened at 11 and 
it's dollar day, so it's kind of one of those those things to where if you're not there when they open, I don't know, you could just really miss out on a lot of stuff. So usually if I'm not there when they open, I don't go because there's other resellers in the area and it's like shit's going to be picked over. Um, I would just rather go Monday when they have like 75 cent day. Um, but yeah, um, so I went and I went in and they have like a a dry erase board with the prices on it. So they had a dollar color and then they were doing a flash sale and everything else was half off. So that was really nice. My total would have been, I've, I don't, I'm not going to do that math, but my total ended up being 103. So I guess it would have been 206. Yeah. But my total would have been 206, but I spent 103. I got like 40 items. I think maybe an item for myself, maybe an item for Devin, but yeah. 40 items for like a hundred bucks. You can't beat it. I'm not going to try to beat it. So we can go ahead and start this store. This is a Pendleton skirt. It is a virgin wool skirt, but I sold two skirts similar to this one for 18 and one for 30. So I figured why not? And I love the colors. I'm a color queen. If this was my size, I would definitely try to get aware in of this before the bad weather goes away. But it's just a pleated wool skirt. I love the rainbow. And I'll probably list that for like $30, $35 on eBay. Um, oh, I got matched with somebody. I was like, why is do I, why do I have a Poshmark notification? Does anybody do the styling request? I used to do them religiously, pretty much. Religiously when I got them. But I've never gotten a sale from them. So I've just been stopping doing them because it's just like, I don't, I don't know. It just feels like time wasted, and that's not not really trying to waste my time, if you know what I'm saying. This lemon water is so good. And hi, Susan. I'm happy you could join my live. Thank you for your compliment. Sold a St. John long cardigan last week for $175. That is crazy. A freaking cardigan. I sold a blazer for 80 on eBay and I was super excited about that because that's not like the average resale price of a blazer by any means, <laughs> but a cardigan, that's crazy. Um, Poshua Pets is looking for a cheap semi-formal office work appropriate dress for next Tuesday. Size extra small, two-ish petite if possible, dark preferably, no lacy or high school or clubbish. Oh, and she already checked my closet. Thank you. I appreciate it. So if you guys can help Posh with Pets, definitely reach out to her. Um, resell in a nutshell. I'm happy you can make it even though you're late. What are some popular items to buy for spring? I would definitely start looking for some um for dresses so i was looking for sweater dresses maybe a three-fourth sleeve maybe a long sleeve dress i was looking for more knee length type dresses darker neutral colors so thinking of spring and summer i've been trying to source more sleeveless dresses more short sleeve dresses more like flimsy fabric dresses, your rayons, your polyesters, something that has to have a lining or you're going to see underneath it. Um, I definitely think those are some things that you could be looking out for as far as sourcing. You could also definitely check shorts. I personally never check the shorts just because, I don't know, that's not something I'm super passionate about, but... Um, yeah, you could definitely be checking for shorts because that's not something that people, you know, were really sourcing for in the winter time, obviously, even though lots of people do still sell shorts in the winter time. Um, for blazers, I've told you guys a thousand times before how I'm switching my sourcing for blazers for spring and summer. Um, for skirts, I haven't really been looking for like wool skirts and all of that. Like I bought that one just because that style and that brand of skirt I've sold twice before and I feel really positive that that skirt is going to sell. Um, but I've been looking for more like floral skirts, more like, like this skirt right here. I might not have purchased this in December. Um, but this is my Amy, which is a Francesca's brand. Here goes the tag. You guys are going to be able to see it because my light's going to wash it out. And this retailed for $44. And this is a navy blue floral wrap skirt. So you guys aren't going to be able to see it like super good on camera. 
just, well, maybe just because it's a wrap skirt, but it has like this, um, I'm like different length hem. I don't know. I guess asymmetrical hem. I don't know, but different things like that. I've been looking for more florals for sure. People love their florals. Um, I've definitely been looking at bathing suits. That wasn't something I was looking at the last two weeks. <sighs> looking at things like this. Like, I purchased this because I figured it might be good for, like, a swim cover-up. I'm probably still going to put it under cardigan, but I am going to put swimwear and cover-up in my description. So if somebody searches up cover-up, this listing will also pull up because Poshmark does um, look through the descriptions, not just your title, but this is a LuLaRoe black lace long cardigan sleeveless. This would be something really cute as a swim cover up for the summertime. I don't know. I mean, I guess some people still wear cardigans like this with regular outfits, of course, but, um, I feel like I see these more as like cover-ups than anything. <clears throat> St. John by Marie Gray is the same as regular St. John. Oh, thank you so much then for <laughs> correcting me and also educating me. They just changed labels over the years. Oh, okay. Cool. I just feel like whenever I see like the St. John Marie Gray stuff, like, well, I guess that does make sense. Yeah. If the St. John collection like by Marie Gray, I feel like that stuff always looks like older style and I think maybe that's why I thought it was more affordable not more affordable but a little bit cheaper um I feel like whenever I see St. John collection by itself this stuff always looks like way more like high-end way nicer but it's just probably more up to date um uh let me read some of these hello Lolita Hello, Janice. I can't move Pendleton for anything, but I still pick it up. I cannot move Pendleton blazers. And I've learned that even if they're cute, even if they're a trendy color, people just really aren't checking for them. Um, I don't know why, because I think they're super cute. But Pendleton skirts, I've definitely had luck selling those. I wish my Goodwill sold bathing suits over the fall, winter, but they don't put them out till spring. I sell them all year easily, so I don't understand their logic. Yeah, for sure. Ours puts them out, but I don't source for them because <laughs> I'm too busy buying wool blazers and, like, winter coats and shit. Um, my best friend just texted me. What you doing, girl? Okay. Well, we're going to text her later. All my notifications pop up on my computer, too. Um, I did my first haul and recorded it. So when you get time, check it out. I definitely will. Um, I have like two people I'm supposed to be checking out their YouTubes, but I forgot the one girl's name. So I'm like trying to like go through my Instagram DMs. Hopefully I find it. Um, I got this Victoria secret bathing suit because I've just been checking bathing suits every time I go. Really cute little two piece pink size large. Um, some people list their bathing suits separate. I'm going to list them together just because, just because I want to. I don't know really any other logic. I don't, really don't know what to tell you just because I want to list them together. <laughs> I don't feel like doing two listings. That's, that's what it boils down to. But little size, large, basic, two-piece bikini. How long do I let something sit in my inventory before getting rid of it? Um, if, if I have something over... Four months, I really don't care about it anymore. I will probably sell it at cost if it's not designer just because I'm not trying to have a more than four-month turnaround time. If you're trying to have a more than four-month turnaround time or if you let items, you know, sit longer than four months, that's completely fine. Um, I've heard Empty Hanger say that she's had items for, like, up to a year. I'm just not that type of person. I don't want to have something that long. I don't want to share that item. I don't want to look at it. No. No, thank you. Um, I try to move my inventory within like the first two months. And then after that, it's like offer to likers, price drops. Um, am I impatient or is that just the way I'm running my business? Who knows? That's not for me or you to say. Um, maybe one day we'll know. But uh, this is a Talbot size 12 petite. I love a good Talbot's dress. This is what I would consider a sheath dress. So... Um, it has this waistline right here to where it's kind of fitted, but it's not, 
it's not super fitted. When you put it on, it's definitely going to hug you, but it's not form fitting. It's not bodycon type of, it's not a bodycon type of dress. I do have a bodycon dress in here. Where's it at? Uh, well, I'll bring it up when I find it because I really have a lot of shit in these two bags, but just something, a sheath dress is something that's like, it's, it's fitted, but not like super form fitting. Um, and it's not loose. Uh, I don't, it's really fucking hard to explain, man, but this is a sheath dress. Super cute, invisible zipper, floral. I think it's really cute. Um, it's a petite. Um, Francesca's is a boutique. I look at Francesca's as a boutique. What did I just say? As a boutique. They carry a lot of brands like that Miami skirt. Um, but yeah, I would say for the most part, yeah, Francesca's is a boutique. This is Long Tall Sally. I had never heard of this brand before I seen this dress at the thrift store. And I looked them up. They have lots of dresses ranging, it seems, from like 80 to 180. So their dresses are made for really tall girls. I believe it was like 5'8 and up or something like that. But basic, I mean, blue dress, good career dress. I don't, I mean, there's not too much for me to say about it, but... You know, tall people got to have dresses too. And the retail prices was looking right, so I picked it up. Um, I got this Target dress, and I paid $2.50 for it. And that's not really what I try to spend on Target when I buy it. I like to pay a dollar and under for Target items. But this dress was just so cute, so I picked it up. Um, it's a little sleeveless or spaghetti strap. I really never know what to say. Um pink dress. It has a smocked back, a ruched back, and there's a really cute little floral design. I just thought it was so cute, so I didn't want to leave it. I'll probably list it at 25. It's a size extra small. Let me read some of these comments. I've been moving bathing suit tops like crazy. Yeah, I freaking cannot keep a bathing suit. I cannot wait to list. Um, that's definitely what I need to do tonight is for sure list those bathing suits because I cannot keep one in stock at all. And I'm so thankful for it because I definitely need the sales. Um, bye, Ashton. I know you're not going to hear me say bye now because you already left. Um... A year is a really long time. Yes, it is a very long time. Yes, shift is more loose than a sheath dress for sure. Um, okay, so Melissa, some someone's early. Who's early? Is it me? Because I was late. I was like five minutes late to this live stream. <laughs> this is a side stitch Los Angeles ugh, tag. Sometimes they sell this brand of anthropology because I have a dress that what? Not, no, I don't think it's a dress. It's a romper that I believe was sold there. But I've definitely seen like anthropology comes up when you look at their brand. But it's like a, it's not a chambray. I really don't know how to explain this, but it's like a blue gray little belted dress. I really don't know how to explain it. So I'm hoping I find like a stock photo or like the listing on their website or something. It's a very specific uh, fabric. I think this dress is vintage. It's so cute, though. Yeah. Roberta, I don't know who she is. I don't know where she came from. I don't know how much she retails for. But I do know I got this dress for very cheap. So that's why we picked her up. And it is a size 910, made in USA. So, yeah, definitely vintage. And it has that paper tag. But just a super cute dress. Like, there's the floral, and then this is all, like, velvet, the flowers. And then that gold thread that you guys can see is all raised. And I just thought it was the cutest dress, so I picked it up because I'm a sucker. Um, you said 6 p.m. Oh, yeah, I'm on 6 p.m. EST. So, um, yeah, I, today, I don't know if I put EST in my Instagram, uh, story the one day I don't put EST and this is the back just a really cute black satin bow 
super cute for like formal season and all of that. I don't know if it is formal season. My sister just had a formal. She didn't go to it, but her prom is going to be right around the corner. Um, this is H&M size eight. So size medium, cute little brown sleeveless dress. It's belted and it has this like scrunchy belt, but I really just like this overlay at the top. And I like this fabric too. It reminds me of the side stitch fabric, but definitely thinner. Let me make sure there's no spots. Uh, what's that right here? Maybe deodorant. If you ever have deodorant on something, take um, the fabric from the same item and try to, wipe, uh, try to wipe it off. It usually comes off. Unless it's like caked on there underneath the armpit, you have to throw that in the washer. This is the limited size large. I really don't pick up the limited too much anymore. I mean, I guess I still do, but it's just really risky business. The resale value isn't all the way there. This is a coral textured dress. Um, it has, I guess, yeah, I would call this A-line. Yeah, because this isn't a fit and flare. But cute little A-line dress, textured, sleeveless. It's kind of like a scuba material. This one is a scuba material. This is Abercrombie and Fitch. Definitely not a brand I plan to keep picking up. Um, got it because it was a dollar and it's a size large. Cute little floral sleeveless v neck dress. This is actually a scuba knit, super stretchy. I love dresses like this. I don't wear them too much anymore, but. Definitely super comfortable. Um, I picked this up because every time I get extra large dresses, they sell really quick. Like I cannot keep an extra large dress and I'm down to like four or five extra large dresses in my extra large dress bin. How many times can I say that? So I picked this up. It's a chaps size extra large. Um, you guys know chaps tag. It's from like Kohl's. No, mm, it's not nothing too special. I got this because it was a dollar because it was an extra large um, dress. And yeah, cute little blue floral, blue and purple floral dress. Like, I guess a faux wrap dress. Not uh, not really. I don't know what we call that neckline. Surprise V-neck? I don't know. Cow neck? No, not cow neck. But yeah, cute little sleeveless dress. Hello, Jilly. Um, hello, Jacqueline. Oh my goodness, I think Sunlight Magic Resell, did you start a YouTube channel? Because I think you're the person that I was thinking about who started a YouTube channel and I could not remember who it was. I was supposed to watch their video. So let me write, what was that sound? I'm gonna write down your name, so maybe I'll remember. Um, Victoria's Secret stopped making bathing suits, which drove reselling prices up, but they recently announced they're going to be selling them again. I did read that. And they announced that they're closing 53 stores. Because <laughs> Victoria's Secret doesn't want to be inclusive. That's what happens when you don't want to be inclusive. Um, never heard of that dress brand. I'm six foot and finding clothes is so difficult. Yeah, I would definitely like look up long tall Sally on Poshmark and see if you can maybe find some of their dresses resale because the retail value is I just I just don't I don't like trying to justify spending that much money on a dress if I had more money it would make more sense you know obviously but uh their retail prices are really high this is a Ann Taylor skirt and it made me beep on the way out the store I was so irritated uh, it's new with tags, originally $79, and this thing made me beep going off, but thankfully, um, it wasn't like a sensor, and I went home or anything like that. Cute little orange and white. This is actually a really cute Ann Taylor skirt. Orange and white skirt. I also got this Zara skirt. I believe this has got to be an extra small. No, wow, this is a medium. Zara skirt. I mean, I guess it is stretchy. Cute little mini skirt. It's not textured, but it's like patterned, but almost like color blocked patterned. Pattern blocked. Elastic waist. Cute little Zara skirt. Um, I got this brand and I couldn't find anything on it. I got two items by this brand, actually. 
Is this? That's not the other item. But maybe one of you guys have heard about it. It the brand the tag is giving me wholesale. Well, I guess you guys will see the other item when I find it. Um, the tag is giving me wholesale. She's giving me boutique. Um, but I don't know. I I took a chance. Um, is apostrophe a good familiar brand? Somebody else said apostrophe. Is from oh Olivia said apostrophe from Sears. Yeah, I think apostrophe is from Sears. I'm pretty sure. Um, how do you remove ink stains from fabric handbags? Can anybody pitch in and help Jilly? Because I do not buy um handbags all like that. I know usually whenever my mom purchases a handbag that has an ink stain, she uses like hand sanitizer to remove it, but that's usually off of like a lining or something. Hi Denali. Um, I'm just reading the comments. So this is B Smile. It says made in Korea. It was $3. So I figured why not take a chance? This brand, it just reminds me of like, I don't know, like Derek Hart or Hearts to Heart or just something like cheap and boutique and wholesaling. But I don't know. It was like, it's this super weird like dress but it has this like fake I mean this is all one piece but it's acting like it's not attached like you're wearing a shirt underneath and this one is regular and it has this weird ass graphic that says Moomin Moomin yeah I don't know who to who he is do you know who Moomin is <laughs> I, I don't know who this nigga is, but he's on uh, this dress, and yeah, I figured why not. Um, it's It says made in Korea. When I seen it, it gave me very much like an Asian aesthetic um, because Asian people know how to dress. Um, I know stereotypes are not good, but that's a stereotype that I think maybe I would like to have. Can somebody think that I dress good? People probably do. But this just gives me like streetwear. It gives me like Converse's or maybe Docs with it. Um, just a very like, I think of all of the Asian people who go to Kent State, my alma mater, and they just all dress so good. And like, this is like the type of shit they wear, but they'll have on like, a fucking Gucci fanny pack with this with like platform docks and just the sickest, coolest streetwear, like oh, just the most sickening ass outfits. Um, but yeah, that's that's that. Moomin. Moomin is Swedish. Um dang. Uniqlo did a collab. Google says it's Moomin is Swedish, not the brand. Well, I hope it um sells good. Sold a sweatshirt with the Moomin print for around 30. I'm happy that Moomin is like not like some random person that the brand made up and they're actually like known because I have no idea who they are at all. Oh, yeah, Taryn, you're right. I could use the word patchwork. Definitely. Thank you. <laughs> Pattern block. What, what am I thinking? Uh, does Zara sell well for y'all? I don't know what to think about it because some sells well and some I have been sitting on for a while. That's exactly how I feel about Zara. Like some of it sells and some of it doesn't um this is asos a size 14 so it's an extra large i got this just in case i lose weight you know a concept i've lost 10 pounds so far but definitely not size 14 it's a short sleeve black shift dress basic dress but then the hem is like choppy if you guys can see that one side is longer than the other and then it has a side split and then i guess technically it's a high low but the hem is all choppy on purpose. And I just thought this would just be a really nice dress to throw on with like a backpack or something. Um, I got this blanket because I spend my money on stupid shit at the thrift store that I'm never going to use. Um, and I think of like these Instagram photos in my head that are never going to be taken or posted or anything like that. And I just go around buying props for them. Um, but I got this really nice blanket because I also bought a picnic basket in the summer that I never used. Um, 
but I was just thinking like that would be a really cute an Instagram photo. So I also bought this blanket to maybe be in that Instagram photo. That's never going to happen. I don't know. Um, but it's just a really nice blanket. It has these birds on it. So I don't know. I just thought like with my picnic basket and like this blanket, that would be really cute. Um, and me and my best friend are already planning, like, we have to go to the park in the summer and paint because we sit in the house and paint all of the time. So I'm just like, with this blanket, I don't, I really don't want to paint on this blanket just because it's so nice. And I didn't want to leave it. Um, it was only $2.50, so super cute. Okay, I'm about to start speeding through this because I'm going to have y'all here all night. And yes, if you like this video, please... Um, like the video <laughs> thumbs it up um let me speed through some of these so this is talbot's it's a size 18w so it's a 1x and it's like this seafoam mint green um is this single button single button blazer it has like a weird texture to it i don't know what this is is it linen oh it has the buttons so i can list this as new without tags Yes, it is. It's a linen and polyester blend, so that's why it feels like that. Um, nice little 1X seafoam green blazer. <clears throat> what is this? A gray blazer by, who's this by? Banana Republic? Yes. So another men's blazer, Banana Republic outlet. If you ever see something with those dots, it's going to be outlet. Old Navy does it. Banana Republic does it. J. Crew does it. Um, all of those different brands do it. So, um, yeah, this is just a men's blazer and it was a dollar. So I figured why not double button. Um, I got this blazer. Susan Graver isn't a brand that I plan on picking up willy-nilly or anything like that this is a brand that i believe they sell at po at poshmark at kmart because that's i literally grew up on kmart it really um saddens me to see it just weaken away to what it is today but we're not gonna um we're not gonna reflect on the <laughs> the death of kmart QVC, okay, so QVC too. I think they carry this at Kmart too, though. Um, maybe. What do they carry at Kmart then that I'm thinking of? But this is like a beige, like stretch blazer. I'm If it was all beige, I don't think I would have bought it at all. Yeah, I don't think I would have bought this if it was all blaze, blaze. But since it had this black um, contrasting like side panel, that is what I think makes it cute. If this was all black or all this cream color, I wouldn't have bought it. Um, thank you, Stephanie. Oh, it has a style number. Good. I will definitely look that up. Posh with pets is stressed out over the dress. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, I... <laughs> If anybody has an extra small dress for her that's work appropriate, definitely let her know. Um, just reading through some of these comments. Okay, so this is, oh, is this by that same brand? Yeah, so this is by that same brand, the Be Smile Made in Korea. And this is even giving me that, that uh, streetwear aesthetic even more. And it's a gray, like, sweater dress, if you guys can see this. <laughs> like, literally, like, a sweater dress, a hoodie dress. But this comes undone. So there's a zipper right here. So this could just be a cropped hoodie. Um, you could wear it with black leggings. But, yeah, I just figured we'll give it a try. Mm, oh, I got this halogen, which they sell at Nordstrom. It's a 22W, so it's a good plus size. And 22W is like a 2X. I don't know if you guys can really see that tag. Um, it is new with tags. It looks like it was 120, and then it went on clearance at Nordstrom Rack. 
And it says as is. So I'm wondering, is the flaw the fact that this collar is not sewn down? But I feel like I've found so many um, dresses that don't have this collar that, like, it's not, like, sewn down. I don't know what the flaw is here, though. But it's a black, like, ribbed, yeah, black ribbed dress. And it's a 2X. Um, that hoodie dress, I don't, they don't really have sizes. Yeah, I don't, there's not really a size. I don't think. Um, I can tag you in the listing though when I list it. And I do accept reasonable offers. Um, but it doesn't have a size. Oh, so this is one of the bodycon dresses I got. I got this because it was a dollar. Um, it's by Windsor. Definitely not something I would have picked up for, you know, anything more than a buck. But it's like an olive green, off-the-shouldered, textured, like, mini dress. Kind of like a club dress, something you're going to wear going out. Pretty basic. Um, I also got this H&M dress, and it is a size... 12 so that's a size large and it is a orange fit and flare dress it has this um illusion neckline but actually well no i guess the back is just out i was thinking maybe that was supposed to be lined too but i think just whatever bra you wear is going to show because it actually has a lining does it no it doesn't have a lining but i don't see them making a dress that has like a like a detachable lining. H&M is not doing that. Yeah. Because they wouldn't have lined this part of the chest if this came with the lining. So, yeah, I'm overthinking this. It's a fin flare orange dress. Size large. I have one little pile left. We have a Chico's size 2 chocolate brown stretchy single button blazer definitely good all year round and it has a oh i thought that was a sleeve what is that never mind i thought it had a ruched sleeve it doesn't um i got these because they were a dollar cute little boys like i guess shorts I'm trying to think like how tall are kids i don't know what is this shorts size 14 was that like an extra large in kids Vineyard Vines, and they have the American flag and the whale, so I feel like these will sell rather quickly, especially since I'm on eBay and Mercari as well. Excuse me. Does anybody else have trouble selling graphic tees or band tees? I don't ever really find them. When I do sell graphic tees, I always feel like they don't like sell for too much money. Because, I mean, who's paying $6.79 on Poshmark to ship one graphic t-shirt? I mean, somebody will pay for it, but I just can't. Um, just trying to read the comments. Yeah, definitely for um, Lolita, I agree with keywords. I do that all of the time. If I find a dress and I can't think of any keywords for it, I'm going to go to somebody else's listing and find that same dress. I'm going to screenshot their listing and then I'm going to go to my listing and look at my photos <laughs> and take those keywords. I mean, there are, you're not going to know everything, definitely. And some people find way more information than you do online. There have been so many times where I've listed something and then like checked comps and somebody who listed their item after me has found the style name and they found a stock photo and they found like all these keywords that I don't know. And um, you definitely got to use what you can. What is up with this belt? So these are some free people. I paid 10 bucks for these. So it's kind of like, uh, okay, they retail for 88. That's not, it's whatever. I pay $10 for them. I'll definitely make uh, money on them, but I'm not trying to spend 10 bucks on too much shit. They're green, like capris. And uh, I guess like gauchos or culottes. And they have this like tie at the waist. Uh, my thrift store wanted 20, but everything was half off. So I paid 10. 
Um, I never look at the plus size section at my thrift store because they really put the plus size in with the regular stuff. And I don't think a lot of the employees remember that they have a plus size section. So very rarely do I even look there. But I did when I was there on Sunday and I found this Eloquy blazer. So it's Eloquy size 24. That's like a 2X. And it is a purple blazer jacket with a like layered bell sleeve. And is this? No, it's not asymmetrical. Yep, just a basic like zip up. But I would definitely call this a blazer jacket just because it's just it's better quality. And yeah, this isn't I wouldn't call this a cardigan or anything, but cute little jacket and it smells good. Um, I don't know if this is real Salvatore Ferragamo, but it was a dollar, so that's why I picked it up. Maybe somebody can chime in. Because, I mean, look at this tag. This bitch looks wonky. Like, I'm not, like, no, ma'am. I don't think so. Um, <laughs> like, sis, you're crooked. What's going on? I don't think this is real, but I paid a dollar, so I was willing to take the risk. Um, it says 100% cotton, made in Italy. It's weird. It's like, I don't know. It's like the tag fell off and they sewed it back on there, but also like half of it's not on there. And it's like, was this ever Salvatore Ferragamo? Did y'all resew a different tag on there? So I'll try to do some research, but I thought this was a really cute skirt in general. I like the print. It's very spring summertime. Um, this gold button is very cute. Um, it has a regular zip. I'm trying to, like, look for any signs of, like, I'm worth some money. But the skirt isn't, it's not giving me I'm worth some money. It's not lined. So, I don't know. I'll have to do more research. Um, hello, Anna. How much did you miss? We're 51 minutes in. But, uh, lucky for you, I still have um, a few items left. <laughs> but I've been here for a little while. <laughs> um... Mm. let me read some of these um the hi Samira the free people pants are what size are they they're size small they look comfortable um oh so I got this dress this is H&M it is a size extra small and I don't really know what this pattern is, but it's all blue and it's a really stretchy dress. Sleeveless, really cute. Um, I like this. If I had the body for these type of dresses, I would definitely wear them. But it's like a scoop in it. Um, oh, I got this Banana Republic dress. It is so cute. It is a size extra small. And it is asymmetrical it has this little like ruffle at the bust and it's belted here goes the belt I obviously did not tie it and I would say I don't know if this is maxi length but I def probably midi length and it actually has this really cute like trim at the bottom like a ladder trim but yeah really cute one shoulder dress um, oh, I got these and I knew these were Torrid even before I freaking looked at the tag because I love Torrid bathing suits and they are Torrid size zero, which I believe is like a larger and extra large, but they are just bathing suit bottoms. I think they're really cute. You could wear these with something that is like pink or magenta. You could wear it with a black top, a green top. You can even get away with a blue top, but high waisted slimming bikini bottoms. I paid $3.50 for these. Um, I'll probably list them um, $20.25, something like that. Um, I got this dress because it was a dollar. The brand isn't anything special. It's by Esley. And I feel like I've seen that brand at like TJ Maxx before. So here goes the tag. I believe that says size large. Yeah, size large. And it's a floral fit and flare dress. What's new? But really cute. I'll list it at $25. It's sleeveless. Um, it has a keyhole back right here. Here goes a little button if you guys can see that. But I'll probably list it at 25 
<laughs> Thank you, Adriana. <laughs> I mean, at least you catch caught me a little bit late. Um, better late than never. And you can always watch the replay if you want to see like anything else that I got before this. I have three items left. Um, this is Aiden Maddox, and I think that's so crazy because I found an Aiden Maddox dress last time I was there, and it's a brand I had never heard of before, and this label looks very different than the label I have, but <clears throat> it's a floral fit and flare dress. What's new? It has this, uh, overlay. I'm, I know you guys can see all of this, but this is, yeah, this is an overlay, and it's just really cute and colorful. I really like it. And if this was my size, I definitely would keep this. But really cute dress. Definitely retail for over 100 They sell Aiden Maddox at, like, Dillard's, Bloomingdale's. They have their own website. And I have a dress that I found last week. Um, it's plus size. It retails for, like, $2.98. I think I listed it at $150. It's not getting any attention on Poshmark, but it's getting a lot of attention on Mercari. And that's where, like, most of my plus size stuff gets the most attention. Uh, this is a size two. So yeah, really cute dress. I got two items left. The first item are these H&M shorts. I don't ever go down the shorts, but these were with the skirts. So that's why I picked them up. I Maybe I should go down the shorts. We'll see if these sell quick or not. I mean, granted, still not short season, but these are H&M Conscious Collection, and they're just a pink short short. Um, they're size six, and they're kind of like, I don't know. I can't explain the fabric, but cute little pink shorts. And then the last item that I got is a Banana Republic blazer. It is made of Italian fabric, and it's a size six. And I mean, come on now. Look how cute this is. So I just thought this was super cute, super colorful, perfect for spring and summer. It's a lightweight blazer and it has this belt. So, I mean, this is just sickening. I think it's super cute. And that is everything I got. So everything I just showed you, I spent like 150 on. Um, definitely can make my money back and hell of a lot more. Does anybody delete and relist on Mercari, or is that a Poshmark thing? Um, Asia just did. I'm trying to think of what is Asia's YouTube channel name. Mm, Asia. Damn, what is her YouTube channel name? Because she just did a video, and she relisted all of her stuff on Mercari, and she was making, like, sales left and right after she relisted them. Um, but she has a channel. I'm trying to find it because... Oh, this is her channel. Oh, shit. This is her channel name. <sighs> it's just her actual name. And I was thinking in my head, is it just her name? And it is. Um, so, yeah, go subscribe to Asia. She's really sweet. She has a 1,000 subscribers. And she makes reseller-related content for sure. Um, so, if you're not subscribed to her, definitely go subscribe to her. I watched her um, Mercari video, and it definitely made me think that I might relist my entire Mercari closet this month because it is March now. February was a lot, was a hell of a better month than January was as far as Mercari goes. Um, if you don't watch all my videos or don't keep up with me on Instagram, I only did $100 on Mercari in January, but I did $250 in February. So, I mean, that's a decent jump, and I really didn't change anything. I might have listed more. I haven't really looked at, like, my analytics or anything, um, my sales on eBay did drop for February, but I also had a $205 coat sale in January, which is like a fringe sale. That's not a normal thing for me. So my January sales for eBay, I feel like we're definitely a bit skewed just because I had that crazy high sale. Those paper towels have been bothering me this whole fucking time. Um, I just wanted to get that out there cause it's been in the back of my head for the last 59 minutes. Um, but yeah, so my Poshmark sales went up. They increased by like $500. My Mercari sales increased by $150 and my eBay sales decreased. Um, tomorrow, last week, I did like a really shit job for my YouTube channel. I really slacked. So tomorrow, I'm going to have a new video up and it's going to be 
Um, probably all of my Mercari sales for last month because a lot of people, I feel like I get the most, even though I do get a lot of questions about Poshmark, a lot of people kind of like know what they need to know for Poshmark, like share your shit, list daily, um, you know, you people know what to do. So I feel like for Poshmark, um, a lot of us get asked the same questions and we're giving out the same answers. For Mercari, there aren't too many people that are on Mercari and actually making content related to Mercari and how to up your sales on Mercari. And I want to be that person. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know how the fuck to up my sales on Mercari. I don't know how to do anything on Mercari. I'm literally shooting into the dark and just hoping I hit something. Um, but I'm going to upload a video tomorrow telling you guys my sales from, um, February on Mercari. Cause I did 250 and that's a decent chunk of change. So Hopefully that guys that gives you guys some insight. Um, I'll try to definitely pick out some trends I noticed. Maybe talk about some items that sold in January on Mercari for sure. So yeah, those paper towels deserve their own channel. <laughs> I need them to like go upstairs. No, not even go upstairs. So go underneath the kitchen sink. I don't know how the paper towels made it to my office when they're supposed to go into the kitchen sink and you know like. But Devin does what he wants. So, uh, sorry if you said this before. Do you post everything on Mercari or certain things you know will sell? No, I post everything on Mercari. So, I think that is definitely, like, something I can bring up. The fact that every item that I sell, for the most part, I mean, very rarely is it not cross-listed. But everything I sell is on Mercari and it's on eBay. They're at very, I mean, maybe, like, 5 to $10 price difference between the three platforms. Um, but yeah, sometimes shit sells first on Mercari and I'm just like, okay, like, I guess I didn't know there were people over here because y'all act like y'all don't use the app or buy anything. Um, but when things sell first on Mercari, it's, you know, that's kind of a big deal because Poshmark and eBay have all these people, they have this giant audience. So for something to sell first over there, I don't know. It always boggles me. I'm happy about it because more money for me, another income stream, but yeah. Um, how much money do I spend on inventory each week? Anywhere from 50 to $200. It just depends. Um, on average, I spend, I'd say $500 a month. No, on average, no. Yeah. Excuse me. Sorry. I had that burp, um, in my chest. I spend about 500 a month on inventory. I'd say, yeah, so whatever 500 divided by four is, I'm not going to do the math right now, <laughs> um, but I spent about 500 a month on inventory. It kind of fucking sucks, but I'm still trying to grow. I'm at like 320 active. It would be different if I was at like 600 active. I wouldn't be buying as much inventory as I do, but because I'd just be trying to maintain my closet. I'm still trying to grow. I'm not trying to be stuck at 320 active. Um, I feel like I had like faster and more sales when I was at like 250 active. I was definitely turning around more on my closet every month, but, um, it takes a lot of work to keep up with 250 active too, because when you're selling at a high frequency at that point, you're just replenishing. Um, I just want to get up, get to a point to where I have so much shit that it's a given. I'm going to be selling a certain amount of things, um, because I feel like some people, you know, if you have 800 active listings on eBay, I hope you have a decent, you know, a decent weekend. If you have 800 active, I just hope that you at least get 10 sales. I mean, and I feel like if I had 800 items active, then I would have more sales. Also, if I worked more, I would have more sales. Obviously, you know, that's just logic that's just how the world works but if i had more active listings i think i would have more sales too you know you have more variety you have more options people can bundle more shit um there's all of that i'm just talking to talk at this point i've had you here for an hour and four minutes so i'm gonna go now thank you though to everybody who came i really appreciate it i think it was up to like over 100 people at one point which always makes me feel special because what the fuck 100 people 
want to spend their Monday night with me. Um, but thank you guys so much for definitely coming and chatting with me. I am probably about to like grab this bear hug, this pile and set it on that white chair. And then I'll just be working off that for the rest of the week. I definitely have some items I do want to list tonight just to keep, you know, you got to keep like that influx of items. Um, I haven't made any sales today. I think I maybe made one sale yesterday. I don't really work on the weekend, so there really wasn't any like sharing my closet or anything like that. So yeah, I'm going to work tonight. Devin's at the gym. So I guess I'll work until he comes home. And I think I kind of took an extended weekend, to be honest. Definitely took an extended weekend. But yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning into my live stream. Um, I Well, I don't have to take them upstairs. I have to take my paper towels to the freaking um, kitchen. <laughs> I have to take them to the kitchen because somehow they made it past the kitchen. I don't know how that works. Ask my boyfriend. <laughs> Um, yeah, if you want to share my closet, definitely, because I'll be sharing back tonight because I need to share my own closet, but I'm going to get off of here and go clean my office and I need to put some inventory away. My skirt bin is overflowing and I keep buying skirts. What can you do? I think I'm just going to buy a second skirt bin. Like, damn, if you love them so much, just buy a second skirt bin and make room for more skirts. Why are you trying to limit yourself to one skirt bin, Shailene? So I think I'm going to buy a second bin for my skirts. I'm going to go now. Enjoy your night. New video up tomorrow for sure because I was a piece of shit last week and I don't think I uploaded anything last week. Um, partially my fault, partially the fault of somebody else's, but we're not going to do that. Um, yeah. Enjoy your night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.